Okay, so much like my Owl House review of this week's episode, we're just gonna jump right in. How is everyone doing today, guys? My name is Steve Coates, and we are back with the final week of Amphibia where we have two episodes or two segments of an episode. Can't believe we're here. <laughs> Can't believe we're here. So this is episode 56A of the series or episode 16A of season three, the three armies. And of course it's like, it's been the last build up to this moment just being Get, finally getting all the armies together for the final for the scene for the final bat for the final battle with uh king and against the uh against utopia against king andreas and darcy so it's like here we are and it's like so it's like yeah it's like we didn't it's funny how up to this point it's like well we've seen the frogs and the toads seemingly being okay with working together and then we got uh and getting Tritonio's little band of, <coughs> uh, sorry, uh, band, little band of rebels together. So it's like, what's gonna happen? Um, quite a few things. So uh, <laughs> this episode, I mean, a part of me was like, we're doing this episode, and then I'm like, a part, another part of me was like, well, I guess it would make sense in terms of like the fact that it needs to be addressed, and that being the 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 right the little prejudice between each of the groups you know like you have the frogs you have the newts and then you have the toads and it's like it's like literally when the newts and the toads arrive to uh the fort uh, towards uh to the resistance um quick quick side note um did Tritonio have that big of an army of newts <laughs> i don't think he did so i'm wondering if I'm wondering if they're one of the, I mean, the thing about this final season of Amphibia is there's 18 episodes in season three rather than the usual 20. So I wonder if of the four, of the four two episode segments, or maybe if there was just two episodes, if Tritonio like became leader of a new, of the new army or whatever. I don't know. It, it, it's hard to say. I mean, it's just, just seeing Tritonio arrive with this gigantic army of newts along with this group, I was like, okay, I'll kind of believe that. <laughs> but uh, then, of course, uh, Beatrix, uh, she shows up with her army of toads, and it's like, okay, here we are, frogs, newts, and toads. This is gonna be fantastic. And it's like, oh wait, frogs, newts, and toads, they hate each other. It's like, you have Tritonio, you have Beatrix, and you have Hop Hop, I guess, representing the frogs. And they're just, they are all just not like each other. Like, Tritonio is just like, oh, the, oh, look at this. The toads, the toads are trying to be, the, you know, like, obviously the toads being, like, the bullies and the brutes, the newts being the snobby brains, and, mm -hmm. and then, of course, the frogs just being, like, inadequate. It's just, like, I was like, oh, ignoring the frogs now, are we? Well, then. It's like, so, of course, for Anne and Sasha, there's, like, well, we can't really, we can't really attack Andreas with this going on. So, it's like, Anne's like, well, then, we're gonna have to settle this, like, just like, and it's like, how are we gonna sell this? And Anne's like, come on, I'm great at bringing people together. Remember when I brought the brand team and the track team together? Because I showed them that they have common interest. They both share, they both. <laughs> okay. As someone who ran, okay, a few things. One, as someone who ran track and field, one never my team we never had a thing we never had a rivalry with the band okay because we, we because i mean again that's kind of the joke is like there's those ridiculous rivalries that shouldn't be rivalries but it's like i love how Ant said like what one thing the band and the track team share in common the fact that they they're they're lung <laughs> Their, their need, their need, their, their being able to their lung power basically because i mean yeah track and field athletes especially they mean that well Okay, I'm not gonna go too deep into the until the the logistics of track track and field because like yeah, there's a lot there's a lot to track and field than just 
lungs and kind of the same thing for band but it's like okay fine yeah there's that similarity but it's like basically it's it's just there to be like that joke of being like and can be the one dude and can be the peacekeeper and try to bring the three to get the three armies together to be like unite to battle andreas and that's kind of what this episode is it's just and trying all the different ways to bring the three to bring the armies together and it's like yeah it's like it doesn't really go well you know it's they start just by having like okay let's just let's just come up with a plan together and see how to stop Andrews and Beatrice and then Beatrice is like I have a plan and Tritoni is like let me just just bring your entire army and just break through the front door and then Beatrice is like mm. and then Tritoni is like ha ha no we just need a group of orphans to distract them and then we can sneak in and it's like and it's like uh, I don't know if orphans are gonna do it and it's oh Tritoni is like we just need the right orphans and then and it's like yeah I don't know if that's a good idea and then of course Beatrice is like ha take that and it's like okay and then Hop I'm like anyone want to hear my idea and it's like nope and it's just yeah so that doesn't work and then Anne's like we'll just do a bunch of trust exercises and I'm like oh this is not gonna go well and it's like yeah, it really does, and it's like, first, it's like, hey, just do the, this is a mirror exercise, just do as I do, you know, there's a bunch of weird, weird poses, and of course, not the frogs, dudes, and toes, they don't, that just turns into a domino effect, which then turns them into a gigantic ball, which then rolls around the camp and squashes everything in its path, yeah, it was weird, uh, <laughs> So that doesn't work. Then they do like the knot thing. They do like the human knot. It's like, or in this case, the human, the human toad, newt, frog knot. I think that's, I don't think that's what it was, but it's like basically, you know, like you have, you're basically, your arms are entangled in a knot and you have to get out of it without breaking the, breaking your grip on the other, or breaking your handshake or break, yeah, breaking the grip on a, your partners so uh, again that doesn't go well and so Anne's like how would a trust fall and I'm like you're no because yeah the biggest toad in the toad army is the person that's falling yeah no one wants to catch that uh so of course yeah so it just continues to spiral out of control until eventually the three armies decide that they're they're gonna fight uh but Anne's like whoo at least they don't have their weapons and then one of the toads did somebody say weapons and it's like this 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 was a funny build-up to the joke because at the beginning of the episode when they're coming into the camp it's like weapons check weapons check in you gotta bring your weapons over here and so like Polly's in charge of it and it's like you know everyone's turning in their weapons and it's just like uh there was a funny bit where uh one of the guys had like he had like golden he had a gold he had golden grills and or teeth and so he just took them out put them down and then polly puts them in and she's like <laughs> and it's like the funniest thing but it's now then um all the all the frogs newts and toes want their weapons polly's just like oh here you go here you go here you go here you go <laughs> it's, it's, i mean it's polly you know she loves carnage so um Basically, uh, it seems that a battle isn't going to break out until Anne decides to intervene by using her calamity powers. And as Grind points out, that should have been the first thing they did. Um, I think a part of me was like, well, one, you know, every time Anne uses her calamity powers, there's kind of like that. She she gets fatigued and tired. So, of course, it's like you don't want to be doing that. But at the same time, it's like you don't want you don't want to do you want to try and make things trying to make it peaceful and not have to rely too much on your power just right out of the gate. So, and intervening with the calamity power, with her calamity powers, and not even really, she pretty much admits that she can't help him. She's like, if you three won't work together, then I, then we won't win. And it's like, if I can't help you, then it's up to you guys. And so that's kind of where she leaves it. And of course, the fact that all these people have relied on, you know, and has helped them in a one way or another, and it's like they realize that, yeah, if they let their past, it's like basically said, don't let the past ruin the future, don't let the past steal the future, don't let the past, you know, don't let the past stop our future. It's like basically just putting their differences aside for what's at stake. That's basically what this is. They're like. Despite the fact of everything that's happened in the past, you got to realize that if we don't work together, the future is doomed. And it's like, because, you know, it's like you had Andreas and this Newtopian army and these, uh, and the core and uh, the music box. And like, you don't want 
that, do you? <laughs> and it's, yeah, so of course that's when they realize, okay, we gotta put our differences aside and actually do this right. And of course for Anne, you know, she felt defeated because it's like one, she wanted to actually help, but it seems like she didn't, she didn't. And Sasha's there to, like, she's in over, she's in tears. She's got to go it's a little over the top in my opinion. And Sasha's just like, hey, there, there, Boon Choi, we'll figure this out. We'll just got to come up with a new plan. And then luckily for the group, uh, Hop Hop, Beatrix, and Tritonium come back into the room and they're like, well, we actually... We actually collaborated on a plan together, and it's like Hop Hop pointed out that Tritonio's plan and my plan and Beatrice's plan can actually work a little better. It's like Beatrice, and it's like if we actually do attack head on, then we can bring in a small team to sneak in from the side and get the calamity box because if that's if that's Andreas's power source, then we just take the power source and we're good. And of course, Anne and Sasha are like, that is a really good plan. Hey, isn't that from uh, that one movie that Marcy always likes to watch? Uh, what is it called? It's like, oh yeah, War of the Warlocks. And it's like, oh no. It's like, you know the second it's like, hey, isn't that something that Marcy did? You automatically know what's going to happen next because like, because Darcy is like, it, like Darcy has all of Marcy's memories and traits. So it's like, if they know, if like once they realize what's going on, they'll, they'll know they'll know what's going they'll know what's happening and it's like it could go in one way or another and it's like okay yeah we have all right now we have a plan we can do this we just need now the three armies together and i love i love mother all just burst in and she's like uh yeah we uh we got heads it's like because you know it's like alms you know they're underground they feel the tremors and it's like they feel they feel things and it's like andreas is actually going to be attacking tonight it's like you guys, it's like, you guys got to move now if you want to stop. And it's like, oh. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, it's like, pretty much it's like, it's pretty, this is it. It's like, the three armies, it's like, honestly, a part of me, in terms of like reviewing these episodes, a part of me was like, do I want to do these together? I'm like, no, I have to, I have to talk about them separately. Because yet, in terms of the themes, in terms of the ideas, in terms of what happens in these episodes, technically speaking, they do connect. But at the same time, the lesson, it's like, you know what I mean. What do you think about this episode? It's fun. It's obviously the pre it's obviously the setup for what's coming next. It's obviously that last little fun episode before we have to go. And it's like, whoa, it's it's here. <laughs> it's here. We're 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 here. I mean. I don't want to say we're in the end game because like how many times has that been said? I feel like in this last week, just being people being like, we're in the end game now. It's like, yeah, I know we're in the end game now. It's like, okay, we're just in, it's the beginning. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, with all that said, let's just get right into the next episode, shall we?